you could be, at the worst case scenario, be waiting 18 months, two years. I would say for any parent, at the start of that list is to keep evidence. Evidence of behaviours that you think are unusual. Keeping all the information together in one book so it's at your fingertips. So when you go in to meet the consultant or whoever, you've got it there in front of you. But it's so easy to get out the door and think, and I should have said. It is a long waiting period. You need to put in things that are going to help you get through that time to give you the best quality of life for you and the rest of your family. You learn by trial and error. For instance, my son can't stand going to the doctor, he can't stand being touched. Now I have gone to see the practice manager and there's a note on his file to say, if humanly possible, they will book an appointment with the same doctor and the same with the dentist. It's about partnership. You need to keep structure and routine in the house. And it does seem daunting, but believe me, it makes such a difference. And that not only benefits the child with autism or possible autism, but it benefits every other member of the family as well. You don't have constant battles. We have a timetable for mum and dad and a timetable for Dominic. We have pictures of everything he does. So he knows the day, he knows what he's going to do in school, and he knows what he's going to do at home. And then he knows where we are. So he has no surprises. If they don't know what's going to happen, then they panic. And that panic usually results in a major deterioration of behaviour. I go through an awful lot of kitchen timers. It's no good saying, right, you're clearing up your things in 10 minutes. 10 minutes means nothing. They can hear it count down. They hear the buzzer. They accept it. Once you've got the one routine in place, you start looking at another. And we could be talking weeks. You make a list, then you prioritise. This is not an overnight thing. As somebody said to me, fight the battles you need to win with your child because otherwise you'll be fighting all day. So for instance, my son does not like being hugged. Whereas if a child is upset, you give him a cutch. As a new mum, it would hurt me when at two he'd say no and push me away. I now understand the reason for it and I accept it. You need to meet him halfway. Does it hurt? Yes, it does. Do you need a thick skin? Yes, you do. Have I yet got it? Truthfully, no. You need to have space and time and you need to be kind to yourself. No two children are the same. You have to accept the child you have and you have to celebrate what they are good at. If it wasn't for Dominic, I wouldn't have met some amazing friends. I have a support network, the other parents, and it doesn't come straight away. You know, you've got to persevere. You can have a really good moan and everybody's got empathy. They've been there and they've been through. It doesn't matter how awful you feel because of a behavior, We've been there before. We can empathise and we can give suggestions. No two days with Dominic are ever the same. He has so many fine qualities. We're learning together 